hairstyles and perfect ponytail technique. Right? Okay, so that's what it looks like when I've unwrapped it and taken it out. It has this cute little twist. So I'm gonna unwrap the other side. That had gargoyles out front, like gargoyle statues out front, and oh, and okay, okay. So for the papillette, okay, there is take your okay, and again you twirl that thing. There we go. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Runescape Funk. Today's episode is going to be on Victorian rag curls, hairstyles, and a gothic history lesson. So, what I've done here is I've done Victorian rag curls. I used the perfect ponytail technique where you basically take two bobby pins and you stick them on two ends of a hair elastic and instead of stretching the hair elastic over your ponytail or whatever you take one end you stick it through your ponytail and then you wrap it around and you tuck the other one in like that so i did that and that was how i put these in pigtails. Now, these I'm going to unwrap. They have been in my hair overnight. I drenched them and they're going to probably come out more like German sausage curls just because I did them more tightly and not so much. Uh, like up here it's a little bit looser, that's more like a Victorian rag curl. Down here it's more like a German sausage curl. And I'm unwrapping. Okay, so that's what it looks like when I've unwrapped it and taken it out. It has this cute little twist. I'm gonna unwrap the other side. It's not coming apart the way I wanted to. There we go. There's one section. And you want to do this gently and carefully so you don't make it all frizzy. I mean, if you're going for a really poofy hairstyle, that's fine. And if you're gonna go for poofy, you can brush it out with one of these. But if you want it to look more like this, I recommend just separating them. And if you have to comb it, use one of these because it's a wide tooth comb and it's less likely to frizz. And if it does get frizzy, what you can do is comb it with one of these and then um, put some oil on it and then rope braid them back together like that. Section out this other one. There we go. That looks 
looks pretty cute to me. Now, the thing I was gonna say about, um, so this is how, it's very similar to how they used to do Victorian rag curls, uh, back in the Victorian age uh, of Queen Victoria. And, um, it's similar to the sausage curls the way I started out in the beginning without separating them. And that would be like a German sausage curl. And the history lesson was that the term gothic in the archaic sense didn't mean uh, teenage boys and girls with a ton of black makeup with black hairstyles, black clothing, or maybe some unusual hair dye like crayon red or dark purple for their hair color. It meant one of those creepy old castles where they had like, <laughs> where they had gargoyles out front, like gargoyle statues out front and the black fences that were taller than, um, anybody's head basically and they had those pointed turrets on the top of the fences that looked like arrowheads or spearheads or something like that and they were like black fences so that was originally what the term gothic meant it meant the dark german architecture style and it later got used to mean teens that were using a more edgy, dark hair and clothing style. But that's not what it meant in the archaic sense. Oh, and about the Victorian rag curl fabric, it can be any type of fabric you want to use. Basically, I chose cotton strips, but they do need to be about four inches wide and the length of your hair doubled. So, like, if your hair is this long, it needs to be twice that length plus a little bit more so you can tie it at the top. Um, I might actually show you how to put it together in another video. but. Um, oh, I was going to show you how to do papillette curls. Okay, so you probably can't tell in the video, but my curls here are, are a little bit frizzy. Yeah, you can see that. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this to it, just near the ends, maybe. That's what needs it the most. <laughs> smells really good too. <laughs> so, um, it's a frizz fixing serum. It's Pantene Smooth Frizz Fixing Serum. It comes in a bottle that looks like this. I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart. And... That looks better. It's not 100% smooth, but a little bit better at least. Okay. Well, now since my bangs are a little bit frizzy, I did shower last night. So, in order to do the papillette curls, it helps if they're a little bit oily. And they're not. They're dry as a desert right now. So 
I'm gonna add some of this to it. And then what she wanna do. Okay, so for the papillette curls, what you're gonna need are a straight iron that you can heat up. Always keep it on the lowest setting possible. Okay, the cord. Okay, there we go. It's on level two. And it, it needs to be heated up. And then you're gonna want either a sheet of paper towel or some tissue paper, but it has to be something that can be slightly stiff. So if you're gonna use paper towels, make sure they're like the kind that come from vending machines and not the kind that you buy in a roll at the grocery store because those are a little bit too much like toilet paper and flex a little bit too easily. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your paper towel or tissue paper and fold it so that it makes a triangle. And if it's some weird shape like this rectangle, you can um, fold it so that you can tear a sheet off. So there we have our triangle. And then you wanna Fold it again, depending on how small you want the curls to be or not. So like, I want mine, and you want a, a triangle for each of each section of hair. So then what you do is you take a section of hair like this, and you wrap it around your finger, like that, and then, no, let me try again. <laughs> there, so you can see. And then, you take the little curled up thing, and it might help do a little bit of water if the very tips are not curly right something but you want to keep your paper pretty much dry and then you tuck it in like that you fold the tip up and then you fold the other side of the paper and you twist it like that so it'll hold in place. You try to keep it as flat as possible where your hair is. And then what you want to do is take your curling iron and be very very careful because it's still pretty hot even if you have it on the lowest setting. And you use the curling iron to just kind of flatten over it and the reason they're called papillette curls is because during the French um, Revolution during 1770s to the 1780s or something like that they um, used paper had become less expensive so they started using it to hairstyle now, of course, they didn't have electricity back then, but what they did have was they had like wooden handles with iron things that could be heated up on a stove that was wooden. Like they could lay it down on top of the stove and the stove being entirely made out of metal except for the handles where you'd stick the wood in would heat up whatever you put on top of it. And sometimes if they were like going, if someone was going to a party or something like that, they would actually leave it in the paper till they were gonna be going out the door. 
you might want to wait till it's done cooling to touch it, but if you when you want to take it out, you just pull on this little tail here, and then you have a curl. Now mine didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, so I'm just going to separate it out a little bit. Maybe add a little more oil. Or I can curl it again. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, don't burn me, don't burn me. pretty darn good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's try the other side. Sometimes it helps if you use a little bit of water instead of a little bit of oil, especially on the tips. So, and if your hair gets a little bit too oily, um, what you can do is you can put some baby powder or talcum powder. What I have is um, some chamomile scented bath powder. Just pour some on like a paper towel or some toilet paper or something. And then use, uh, I don't know, whatever you use to apply powder. Whether it's a brush for makeup or... What I use is a little bit of toilet paper that I use sort of like a poof pad or whatever you call those. Now this one should probably turn out a little bit more curly because it's going to be a little bit hotter and drier. Okay, so let's see how this turned out. Yeah, that's pretty good. A little bit too curly. Looks good in the mirror though. Um, with this one I added a little bit more water so it was a little bit damp already. Let me see if I can... Uh... It looks good on green doesn't quite match up with this one, so I'm gonna try curling this one again. And this is the papillette paper that I used. That's how big it is. It's about, I don't know, three inches here, about two inches here and here. And I folded it up about an inch here and about an inch there. And again, you twirl that thing around your finger and then you sort of slip it off your finger. And then you tuck it in this thing or something like this. And then you use the hot iron. There we go, that's how this one turned out. Well, they look pretty even. Nice curls. So anyway, that's the end of the video. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, thumbs up, click subscribe down in the button, click on the button, and I'll see you in the next video.